It is time for a renewed nation-to-nation -nation relationship with First Nations peoples. Is there an Indigenous vote? And will they vote for Justin Trudeau? It's a pretty important question. With Justin Trudeau leading only a minority government, with two dozen Liberal MPs having won in 2019 with just a few hundred votes, small constituencies can end lots of political careers. I'm Warren Kinsella for Sun Media. Thanks for tuning in. The Indigenous population and the Indigenous vote aren't all that small. 5% of Canada's population identify as Indigenous. That's close to 2 million people. First Nation voters make up about a million voters. That's a lot of votes. In the right places, that many votes can determine the outcome of the next election expected later this year. Now, not as many Indigenous people vote, certainly not as many are entitled to. For many bands, it's just not part of their tradition. That's one reason they don't vote as much as they should or could. Another reason, broken promises. Justin Trudeau has broken many of the solemn promises he's made to Indigenous people. In his 2015 election platform, he promised to get clean water to Indigenous communities and end the so-called boil water advisories, but he hasn't done that at all. He promised to make their lives safer and better, but in places like Grassy Narrows, mercury poisoning still happens to the people who live there. And when a young woman protested that fact at an exclusive Liberal Party fundraiser... Thank you. People in Grassy Narrows are suffering from mercury poisoning. You Thank you. Trudeau had her ejected, and he sneered. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much for your donation tonight. I really appreciate the uh, donation to the Liberal Party of Canada. He promised to build a more respectful relationship with First Nations, but he spent millions on lawyers to overturn a human rights award won by Indigenous children. Seriously, he's doing that. So considering Trudeau's abject failure to reconcile with Indigenous people and improve their lives, are they going to vote for him again? I hoped you'd invite me back, whatever my job description might be. I'm so glad you took me up on that offer. They did in 2015. 40% voted Liberal then. But after Trudeau politically mauled Jody Wilson-Raybould in the SNC-Lavalas scandal, that number plummeted to just half of that in 2019. Indigenous voters aren't partisan sheep. They may vote Liberal more, but they vote Conservative and New Democrat too. So is voting for Justin Trudeau in their self-interest? Indigenous people are best qualified to answer that important question, and they will. But I think the recent discovery of hundreds of bodies of Indigenous children and babies is in their minds, just as it is for the rest of us. Indigenous people know that the so-called residential schools operated for decades, mostly under Liberal governments. They also know that while the Liberal Party of Canada may talk a good game, the fundamentals haven't changed. On the very day that more than 700 tiny Indigenous bodies were discovered in unmarked graves in Saskatchewan, Justin Trudeau shrugged. He did dismissed calls to fire his incompetent cabinet minister, Carolyn Bennett, who smeared Jody Wilson-Raybould, saying that she was more concerned about money than her own people. What Minister Bennett did was wrong, and it was hurtful. There's no question about it. But I know Carolyn's heart. I know how hard she has worked for decades on this issue. The Indigenous vote matters. It votes. Will it go with Justin Trudeau a third time? Well, if results matter, and they do, then they shouldn't vote for him again.